Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous with Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo. It's been over two and a half years since I started doing these videos, and I am still going strong. And that's one of the reasons why I think I was granted access to the baby PT, well, the baby PU. And it's not because I'm a super tester, which are the ones that should have been granted access. It's because I've been helping the community out for so long that gave me the access here. So I'm going to give you a couple of things, my thoughts on it. First off, the new lighting and a couple of the new models. Like, I don't have a new model constellation here. I just went inside my Phoenix just to check it out and see if it was a new model. I Nope, it's not. And it still has that same disgusting, glowy, blurry lighting inside of it. And there's no way in the back of the ship. So the disclaimer here is this is a pre-release beta, so it's not even a beta, of an alpha game. What? Confusing, right? Well, yeah, it's supposed to be confusing because at this point in the production of a game, and some people are going to say, oh, but the game's been in production for three years. And yeah, there's a lot of games that have been. Just look at Fallout 4. And it's perfect. No bugs, okay? But you also never got to see it in this state. But it's a pre-release of an alpha, so we're actually on the team to help find the bugs. So if you didn't get into this release, understand, it is filled with bugs. Mostly connection errors on the uh, in the Crusader system, so when you go up to the baby PU. But here, the bugs I found were all graphical glitches and sound glitches, and things that could probably be fixed rather quickly by their teams. I'm looking at the major issues that I've had inside of the Crusader system as being mostly um, connection-based, network-based again, which seems to be something that's done over and over again. This is the new model of the Stalker, and the model that they've given us, th there was a graphical glitch there, but it's just, I don't want to say the word, it's just freaking incredible. It's gorgeous. One of the major bugs inside of the hangar is once you get into a seat of any fighter, you can't of any ship, you can't get out. But look at this. Look what they did to the cockpit of this thing. It's just gorgeous. So before I, I go into something that's frustrating, I just want to go over something that wasn't frustrating. And when I mean frustrating, I mean all the graphical glitches in here are frustrating. But uh, it's worse in the baby PU. Well, here I am in the Avenger in Arena Commander, and it's not that you haven't seen Arena Commander any you know before, but look at the advancement in graphics. I know it looks the same, right? No, it doesn't. Um, the optimization level of the graphics in Arena Commander is just incredible. It's been brought up another notch, but also, look at this. We're on Wave 1, and they're launching missiles at me. So Arena Commander is no longer going to be an easy place to go. Yeah, the missiles might not have as much damage early on, but you're going to have a little bit harder time inside of Arena Commander, and that's why I came here. I want to show you one more ship, and then we'll jump into the baby PU, because I really want to give you some something to see. That was a blackout. You black out a lot. So there's going to be a lot more combat... Uh, a lot more learning of combat. So we've moved off into here. This is the retaliator. My first time trying to get up, I got pushed back like about, I'd say about 50 yards, uh, for those of you that have watched National Lampoon's Vacation. Um, so I got thrown out of the ship like all the way. So there it is, see? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? So like I said, there's graphical glitches and there's audio glitches, and there's the I got stuck in my ship bug that we've had in the past. But all simple things in the hangar that could be fixed. Now, not available in my hangar was any of the ships that they promised us, like the Vanguard, but who cares? This is just a beautiful ship, and the furthest I got inside the Retaliator was back here. To this station, I opened it up and got stuck. Whoa. All right, that is one of the stations, and automatically it told me that something was overheating, and I'm wondering if that was a bug too. If I stood here long enough, I was wondering if my ship was going to blow up. So instead of showing you me not being able to get out, let's jump into the baby PU. Well, you've seen this inside of their 
press release uh, videos and inside of their live streams from CitizenCon. But this is the PU. It's the very, very baby. This is like the uh, fetus PU because it's actually smaller than the baby PU that we're going to get. So we're going to get a lot more. Pretty cool. I'm very much liking it. So I think in this instance, I may, if, if I look down at the book, let's see, do I look down at the book? No, this instance crashed. But this one did not. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to whitewash over everything. This crashes a lot right now. And a lot of the crashes I get are because I'm kicked out of the server. And now the computer still thinks, or the server th still thinks I'm assigned to the Crusader instance. And I try to go back to the hangar and I crash. So the first thing that I do, I leave my area, I bring up my Moby Glass, and I think that's F9 on your keyboard. And I have to do it a couple of times because I'm waiting for everything to connect. Like I said, lots of server issues in here. Still not able to get in. I think this guy runs up to me. Yep, he does. And I'm looking at my Moby Glass. He should be able to see that. I accept a mission. See that? You get the Moby Glass right on, the missions right on your Moby Glass, which is pretty awesome. Zane has done an amazing job with interfaces here. And then you come out of your birthing compartment area and you come and you run down two flights of stairs. Okay, not bad, right? So, so far we haven't crashed. And I have crashed probably about 20 or 30 times. I've lost count. And the more people there are over here, the more likely you are to crash. Because that means there's a lot more people that are trying to fly around. So I'm going to just take one of these missions where I have to go and get... Um, yeah, I, actually, I was on landing pad one and I messed that up. Okay. Um, nope, I didn't remember where I was, so I turn around. <laughs> Short-term memory disorder, folks. And I come back here and I tap this and I go back down to my Gladius. Now, not showing up are like some of my better ships, like my Constellation. Not showing up is my, uh, my F7CM. And I'm wondering if that's because... The mo new models for those aren't um, in my ownership log, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So let's see. We come in here, we get equalized. Well, not equalized. The pressure was equalized. Now it was removed. And we run out to our ship. I have died here quite a number of times where I just get to my ship and I die. But this is absolutely the furthest I have gotten, and I'm still learning the controls and need to. And like I said, this is going to be a first of many videos. So I can bring to those of you that aren't in the uh, baby PU right now, how things progress and how they get, you know, how daily it gets closer and closer. That was pretty cool how it showed the atmosphere coming out of your ship, which I don't think there would be atmosphere in there just sitting out there. That would be a waste. Okay, but it's a very cool visual effect. So a couple of things I don't understand how to do. It limits your speed to about 50, or is it 100? I don't know. So things were starting to look really good for this particular time, because at this point, I am now flying for the longest I have inside of the baby PU. And I just think that everything in here is so gorgeous. The gas giant is realistic in size. Well, somewhat realistic. I think it would probably be three times that size. But bigger than the planets seem in Elite Dangerous up until the next release, that is. I'm trying to fly around it to give people some measure of the, be the beauty, the, the depth, the, the size of the objects that are in here. They really did go out of their way. And I know not a whole lot of that space station is fleshed out right now. We only have birthing compartments and the job well or the hangar piece that you get to pick your ship. Nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Over here, I'm trying to figure out, all right, I got quantum drive all up. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, um, let's jump to the part where I know what to do. There were a few minutes there when I was trying to figure out where is the keys for getting this done? Like, how do I get my quantum travel to work? And 
you know, maybe there's a, a, a manual or maybe there's some kind of a website where you can see things, but I, I didn't find it. So the key is actually B to activate quantum travel, and you'll see me activate it quite a number of times. And on my setup, I have the X55 HOTUS. It was the red button on the top of the joystick that activated travel. So you can see whenever I go over one of these things, the circle goes around it because it is a um, target for quantum travel. And here I go. And quantum travel spools, you know, spools up, and it gets you there really fast. I mean, running these missions in the PU are going to be pretty fun if this is how fast it gets you there. But then, of course, I didn't get myself, uh, I didn't get to figure out how to make the ship go faster. So the bottom line here is, it's not ready for release to the whole Star Citizen community. That's not what you want right now. It is ready for release to the people that are going to test it and find the bugs and get it fixed for the rest of us. Why am I here? Like I said, I'm the media. I'm the person that wants to show this off, and I'm going to put it in the light that it is. It isn't ready, but it will be ready. And this is the most impressive stuff I've actually been able to take part in in the Star Citizen um, development since it began, and I'm pretty happy with it. So if you're looking to get into the baby PU, just let it get worked out, let it get fixed. And with that said, you'll all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.